Hello friends and happy new year. It is Thursday, January 4th. We are headed down to Fred and Jody's house down in beautiful Northport, Florida, doing some work on Cole's 73 Triumph TR6. Today is going to be the day we finish, hopefully, the front end of Cole's 73 Triumph TR6. We are going to be installing the grill, the finisher, and hopefully the fog lamps. And if we get that completed, the front end will be done. So uh, we're very excited, a fun fun morning planned. Going to hang out with them uh, most of the morning. We have donuts in hand, coffee in hand. Looking forward to it. Also, just wanted to uh, let those of you who have been watching, if you have not clicked that subscribe button, we could certainly use your support. And if you have, thank you very much. Uh, if you have subscribed and know somebody who would really enjoy the channel and the content that we have, uh, we would really, really love to have uh, as many subscribers as possible. Uh, so thank you very much. We really appreciate it. And uh, we uh, look forward to showing you the next video. Well, we made it down here to Northport, Florida, and Cole's car is looking fantastic. Um, Fred did some work while we were gone, and speak of the devil, ladies and gentlemen, Fred Schmidt. Hello. Hey, Fred. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. So, uh, what did you do while we were gone? You always do these little surprises for us, and we come back and get to see cool stuff. So, uh, what have you been working on? Well, I've been working on the, uh, the trunk liner, getting that all installed. Oh, wow. That looks really, so, really uh, nice. Wow. Get that installed, and then... Um, I tightened down the fuel cap from the guy that he moved it a little bit when it was right, painted. Right. Um, well, that really looks nice and clean. Of course, we have our lights in here. That's yep, got the lights. The whole, set. pretty much the rear end of the car is done. Um, and um, you, uh, you were talking about tidying up some things that we had uh, wanted to. Oh, there you go. Oh, that looks nice. Wow, look at that. Oh yeah, even the trunk light too. It's looking good. Yeah, it looks great, man. Really nice. Yeah, those lights look really good. Looks like you put brand new lights in there and everything's oh, yeah. get the same color, the same um, temperature, yeah. So Fred, when we got here, you had mentioned about doing some uh, little care and feeding on the front of the car. You mentioned some overspray that was on the front. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna touch up some areas here from with a painter. We'll touch these areas up in here, get them okay. black looking like this. So basically what we wanna do is kinda clean that area up before we offer up the grill and yeah. anything else you like wanna, that. You so. wanna get that cleaned up. And okay. you know, we, can, we can have Cole take, you know, Cole can go ahead and do stuff like clean up this. And, Oh yeah, he can take those wires and get a uh, get them nice and clean and everything. Get all that cleaned up. And well, I tell you, the engine's really starting to look nice. This whole engine compartment is just looking amazing. Wipe the head a little bit. Oh yeah, it's just oh. dusty. Yeah, there you go. Hope I know okay. That, I hope I know how that goes back on. Uh, I'm sure you probably could do it in your <laughs> sleep. All right. Well, no time like the present. We'll get started taping some stuff off and let's get this back end cleaned up a little bit. So Fred's uh, doing a little cleanup here from a little bit of the overspray. Very nice, very nice. The devil's always in the details, huh, Fred? Always. Oh, yeah, much better. Much better. Okay, so. Fred, you had Cole clean up the spark plug wires. Yep, yep. Do you remember what order they go in? Uh, we're just, yeah. Just random, right? Just random. Why don't we have the boy do it? Let him just guess. Yeah. Try to turn the car over and see what happens, right? <laughs> so Cole, what you doing now? Are you just uh, cleaning up from our little paint work we did? Yep. A little bit of overspray, but no big deal. We got it cleaned up immediately, right? Yep. Okay, good, good. And then um, I see you guys reshot the finisher over here to the uh, preferable um, satin black, and it looks fantastic. Uh, I think uh, Cole felt like it was just a little too shiny, and uh, it looks uh, it looks better. I, I think Fred, I think you and Cole uh, nailed it. So, but uh, cool. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna get this uh, excess tape off of here. We're going to uh, let this dry a little bit, and then. Uh, I guess, what do we need to do next? Do we need to touch up the front with the white or do you think we do that after we put the finisher in? What are you thinking, Fred? Um, I 
give that paint a little bit of time to dry. Mm -hmm. And then next thing I'll do is put on this rubber little weather strip on the front. Okay, get great. That, get that done. And you know, I never knew that that's what that was for. So this rubber piece here goes in the very front on the lip and under it goes between the metal frame and the hood. And this is designed to keep dust and dirt out of the car. I never knew that. So makes sense though. Totally makes sense. All right. Good, guy. Good job, guys. I'm going to go eat a donut. So Fred, you discovered when you were doing the trunk panel kit that the light does not go off. Shame on that light. Shame on that light. So when you reach back there and push down on the plunger, what happened? Nothing. Okay, so we probably got a bad plunger or a bad, bad contact or something. So Fred's gonna take that plunger out and see if we can, uh, oh yeah. Looks like kind of sort of similar to a, the door plunger. Yeah, except it's got the anchor. Let me clean this Interesting. up and see what Maybe, yeah. Maybe we can get it to get it to work. Bad contact in there. Fred, what'd oh. you discover? There was nothing wrong with it, huh? Uh, it was bent right here and it wasn't making a contact. So now I straighten that thing out somewhere uh, along its life. So it had to make Somebody contact. probably hit it in the process of doing something to it. And something. Now it works. Now it does work. It wakes. Got a trunk light. You got a trunk light. Yay. Nice. All right. So we've got the big moment here. We are about to put the finisher in as well as the grill. So will I need... Do you, so Fred, when you present the grill, do you have to put the grill in and then open the hood so that you can uh, access the backside to screw it in? Yeah, we should probably, Jody, do you have a, um, no, You think we should touch that up real quick before we do that? I think we should too. All right, good. All right, so a little touch up here. We got a little bit of a scratch here on the front, so we're going to uh, touch that up real quick. Here in the wild, we have the wild TR6 being tamed by the TR6 doctor, Dr. Fred Schmidt. Fred has tamed many, many TR6s in his day. Do not attempt this at home. All right, so Fred did a great job of touching this up. It looks great now. So uh, we're just about ready to present the uh, grill over here in the finisher. We're going to uh, put that on the car here shortly. All right, folks, the TR6 doctor is in action and we are just now getting the TR6 grill put into place. So Fred, you basically just have to line it up with all the holes, correct? Yeah. Boy, that sure looks nice, guys. Did it go through? Oh, yeah, hold it there, Cole, so that way when he, oh, here, I'll help you with that. Well, would you look at that, folks? Look how gorgeous that looks. Holy cow. Absolutely stunning. Fred, the finisher is perfect. Dave Let's did go. a fantastic job on the finisher. Good front end. Good front end. Now, we we got enough time to see if we can mount those uh, fog rangers in to see what that's going to look like. Let's see. Wow. That looks good. Well, we're wrapping things up here at Fred and Jody's. We are enjoying a celebratory beer. Cheers, Fred. Cheers. Job well done. So, um, Fred, we, let's see what we did today. Uh, we figured out why the light wasn't working properly in the trunk. We got that dialed in. Uh, we, together. we also opened up the hood, taped it off, and we blackened out some of the overspray inside the uh, engine compartment. And then, of course, the, uh, the biggest thing we did was putting the, the grill on. Yeah, and that looks, looks good. Yeah, it looks fantastic. We'll put we, some weather stripping in the engine compartment. Yes, and I don't know if we can probably can't see that from here, yeah, but there's a weather stripping right up. Oh, actually, you can see it. It's right there. Good. And so um, 
The next thing I guess on the docket would be to uh, put these fog rangers together. Uh, we need to wire them up. And of course, Fred's devised this uh, beautiful switch system where uh, you flip the switch, the light comes on, uh, and there's also a light that lets you know it's working, which yeah. is great. Yeah, we'll, we'll wire it in with a relay so we don't stress out the system too much. There you go. Cool. And that's going to be, uh, we would do that the next time we come down. And then uh, Fred's got a couple little things he needs to do to finish dialing in the trunk. He's going to put a piece on this side over here of um, carpet, get that done, uh, put all that back together. So that should be working well. And you can take this home with you. Yes, uh, Fred has gifted this badge, this uh, badge holder. I think, uh, cool, where you got it. But uh, this goes on, where does this go on, Fred? This goes on the... It's like a little accessory. It goes on the license plate, right? Yeah. Right here on the bracket. Super neat and cool. Here and here. Yeah. And then you can mount badges on there if you like. Yeah. Yeah, and Cole had this old badge. This actually, this badge was in the trunk of the car when we got it from Dave. <laughs> and so it's kind of sentimental to Cole. So maybe we'll just leave it on there. I'll just try to, I tried cleaning it up a little bit. Oh, but yeah. uh, maybe I'll see if I can get some of that gunky stuff off of there. But... It's kind of something that was kind of, you know, sentimental to Cole, so. Oh, yeah. But, uh, so Fred, we'll try to get down here as soon as we can to do some more work, and uh, we really appreciate it. All right. Happy New Year, buddy. Yes, sir. Happy.